on Ethiopia's western frontier, where the Blue Nile cuts towards Sudan, rises one of Africa's most audacious feats of engineering, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, a hydroelectric power generation giant carved into the river's path. Designed to be the largest on the continent, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is Ethiopia's boldest attempt yet to harness the potential of the Nile's waters and use that to power its economy. This colossal gravity dam is built of roller compacted concrete, anchored by two powerhouses, three spillways, and a vast saddle dam. Its main wall towers 145 meters into the sky and stretches 1.7 kilometers across, a structure that has cost more than 4.8 billion US dollars. But that cost was not borne by foreign creditors. It was carried by the hands of Ethiopians themselves, ordinary citizens, public servants, and diaspora communities who bought bonds and pooled their resources to transform a national dream into reality. Construction began in 2011. At its heart, the project was simple yet transformative to light up a nation where electricity remains scarce. Yet, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is more than just concrete and steel. It's a statement of sovereignty, of self-reliance and national pride. Once fully operational, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will unleash more than 6,000 megawatts of power, enough to electrify Ethiopia and power its neighbors. It promises energy independence, rural electrification, and industrial growth. For the region, this means cheaper power, deeper integration, and another step towards Africa's collective energy freedom. Beyond electricity generation, GAD will also boost the amount of water available for irrigation, sustaining millions of farmers in Ethiopia and beyond. Yet, this monument to progress has stirred controversy. Egypt and Sudan fear the dam could affect their water security. They worry that their share of water from the Nile could drop. But other nations in the region see in the dam an opportunity, a catalyst for cooperation and shared prosperity. Egypt sees the dam as a potential existential threat. The Nile delivers more than 80% of its water. Any reduction threatens its agriculture, its economy, its people. A nation whose population is projected to reach 150 million by 2050. Cairo has fought the project on the diplomatic front and even took the issue to the United Nations Security Council. It has been demanding a regional water sharing pact. Ethiopia, however, held its course. Alternatives proposed by Egypt, such as smaller dams and conservation measures, were dismissed. And now, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam stands complete. At its inauguration, African leaders, diplomats, engineers, and the millions of Ethiopians who willed this dream from blueprint to reality will watch as a dream that had been drafted on paper roars into life to power the dreams of a nation that is home to Africa's second largest population. Enoxicolia, CGTN.